Hi there and welcome. I guess you are keen to try our customer engagement automation platform and learn how it can help you. Today I'll give you a quick tour around Retainly. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create the workflow. Workflow is a chain of actions to be performed in accordance to a predefined set of rules. It sounds more complicated than it really is. Let's make it easy. It allows you to automate a great deal of work. Workflow automation ensures that proper communication reaches the right people at the right time, while all business constraints are properly met. Why create automated workflows? Workflows allow executing highly customizable seamless tasks like orders placement, customers onboarding, newsletter automation, reminders and much more. To create a workflow, navigate to the sidebar workflow page. On this page, you can create new workflow and review existing ones. Click on create button. This is the workflow builder. And first you need to name your workflow. The next step to take is choosing your entry points. We can divide all entry points in two types, based on segment or even based. When we select a segment, it means that this workflow will work for customers that are included in that segment. If we pick one of the event-based entry points, it will start performing only after the customer triggers particular event. After choosing the entry point, we can start building our logic. I will showcase an abandonment cart flow. In this workflow, we will react on customer's action add to cart. Afterward, we can wait for some time, let's say for 5 to 10 minutes. And check whether the customer had put any item into the cart. Our funnel analytics can tell you precisely the minimum, maximum and average time for each step. Adding this filter will split those customers from who act and who don't. Now for those who interacted with the cart as we require, we can wait for some time and check whether they have checked out the items and made a purchase or not. Talking of those who didn't interact with the cart at all, we may send them some promo-based, unreviewed categories or items to encourage them to purchase. Also, in few hours we can reach the customers who placed items in the cart but didn't purchase with the reminder that they left a full cart neglected. When our workflow is all set, we save it. Also, we can add some more specific settings such as participation program. It will help define how often customers can be included in particular workflow. or an exit criteria, allowing to exclude any segment out of the workflow. You might need it in case you have a blacklist of customers or statuses that you don't want to be included in your workflow. Last but not least, press the run button and choose the date range when it all will start working. 
We can choose the range of when it starts finish for the workflows triggered by the event-driven entry points. Those will work in real time, reacting to those customers who had triggered the event. Meanwhile, for the workflow starting with the segment-driven entry point, we can set the exact date time and choose the time frame which settings for how often it will appear. By the end of the day, we will probably notice more customers putting items in the cart and making more purchases. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Comment below, like, share and subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, look forward to seeing you.